Odaiba is known for its over-the-top attractions like its giant Ferris wheel, futuristic looking bridges, massive Gundam robot, and big touristy spaces. The massive Gundam robot. Joshua, you're the size of that dude's big toe. My goodness. But today we're headed inside to a place called Team Labs Borderless, where a one-of-a-kind experience awaits us. Rebecca, what did they say about this place? Oh, we it's dark world. and... It's dark? It's hard to find some good. Rebecca, hold my hand. I don't need that. <laughs> oh my. What about over here? Look at this. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look, if you touch it. That is crazy. It's like you're inside a Disney movie or something. <laughs> Floating nest. They said this one happens on a net. So you have to watch your step. Whoa. <laughs> it's starting, Sarah. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> Where are you going, Anna? Careful, Anna. <laughs> Was that Becca? Oh, Becca. Whoa. No, we're staying still. Some little kid is not enjoying it. Whoa, climb out. Climb out, Sarah. The rooms are all connected by large hallways, but as we would soon find out, they don't keep the same appearance. That's interesting. It almost looks like kanji. Some kanji strokes, huh? <laughs> Don't catch it, catch it. Drop it. Oh, what, what, what? Whoa. Anna found a secret room. Whoa. Oh, a secret stairway up. Whoa. Whoa, it's like an observation deck. Oh, that's cool, because we were right down there, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Oh, like a little frog. Oh, here's the room that we were just above, and now we can see. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, look, that's a mirror way over there. The main room in the middle is massive and multifaceted, giving you lots of different scenes to enjoy. But the best discoveries lie off of this room behind dark curtains you almost have to stumble across to find. Look, mommy spotted what we think is a special room. Let's go in, let's see, let's see. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa, look at this, guys. Whoa. Whoa, look at the floor. Dude, how about that? There's Mama Chan. Hi, Mama Chan. Look here and I'll take a picture. Look at here guys. Oh. One, two, three. 
Look at mommy's cell phone. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is psychedelic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's almost worth staying in. With so many rooms and constantly changing art, it's easy to get disoriented. This is very cool. You have to watch your step. Watch your step. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that looks massive. So there's mirrors all over. Okay, you have to go around it. You have to find your way through it. Okay, right here. Whoa. It was quite a sensation trying to figure out where to go and from where you came. More than once we got turned around and lost sense of direction. Okay, it's the other you side so of it then. You do get so lost in here, don't the you? <laughs> no. Forest of resonating lamps. Oh, My goodness. Oh, this is gonna be cool to try. It's like Rapunzel. It's like Rapunzel. Whoa. Here, let's get a picture. I want to get a picture with all of us. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. It got all blue, didn't it? That is so cool. You know what? You could easily get lost in here, huh? Joshua, like, look at mommy. <laughs> there's where they just closed the door. <laughs> Would you be able to know which way's out? Whoa. Don't run into them. <laughs> go, yeah, go around them. Go under them. Go around them. <laughs> the exit. Oh, here it is. Whoa. <laughs> A dark chasm. Oh, you gotta go this way. Whoa. It's like a restroom, huh? With lots and lots of waves. Lots and lots of waves. This is really wild, isn't it? Whoa. My goodness. Okay, let's go this way. Sarah. Okay. Bye -bye. Sarah Bear, we didn't lose you good. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, it goes up if you go this way. Oh, how cool is that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, they are. There's Anna Cakes. Here they come. This is a fun little forest. Light sculpture space. Oh my freaky freaky. That's the smoke you're smelling. It is like a rock concert. There were so many rooms to see that we moved quickly from one to the next, but you got the impression that you could stay a long time in any given room and not see the same thing. 
All the exploration had made us hungry, so we found a room to have some lunch. So, what is your favorite part so far, Joshua? The movie. The movie? Yeah. What's the movie? The one where we laid on the net? Yeah. I have a favorite. It was that one room with all the lights that hang, hung down. Oh, like, the, like that Rapunzel place? Y no. That was cool. That was, cool that was really cool. But my favorite were those. Oh, like the it looked like rain. Yeah. After lunch, some of Ruth's family met up with us and we explored the second floor where Team Lab started to show off just how cool it really could be. It's a giant slide. <laughs> Whoa! Anna went cruising. Whoa! Whoa! Joshua, what a start! Look at your shirt. <laughs> climbing, climbing through the clouds. Are you almost ready, Sarah? Oh, and here's Anna coming through. Whoa, Sarah. There you go. The first floor was full of a lot of fun, but the kids especially loved the second floor, full of activities for kids their age. Oh, Anna Cakes. Sitting in a tree house, it looks like. Oh, and there's Becca. Oh, and here's Sarah and Sophia. Hey, Sophia, working their way through here. Whoa. Dude, you made it to the end. Way to go. Good job. Yeah, all right. There were all kinds of fun, trippy experiences to be had on the second floor. Goes Becca. No problem, huh? Whoa, Josh was so fast. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, tricky, tricky, tricky. <laughs> okay. I couldn't let the kids have all the fun themselves. I had to try it for myself. I'm just a big kid at heart. <laughs> a room full of eggs. Weird. <laughs> I saw some kids. Oh! Hey, dude! Uh oh! The second floor had a room with interactive wall art. It was kind of like being in a video game. <laughs> if you move this stuff, then all the people will like try to run on it. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. And they work their way out of it. Look at that. That's cool. I caught a ton of elves, huh? But the kid's favorite station of all was at the end. A lizard. a lizard? There's a lizard. Right down there, Sarah. You could make your own art and add it into the digital world. Looks like they have flowers and frogs and all kinds of stuff, huh? All right, Sarah's getting started on her lizard. Anna's doing a mega psychedelic frog. It's the life in Japan lizard, huh? Once you choose an option and color it, it is scanned into the computer where it is brought to digital life and enters the virtual world. Here we go, Joshua. It's going to scan it in. Oh. Okay, there you go. Now we got to go find it. Okay. Oh, oh, dude. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so how cool is that? It's just like that, isn't it? Did you give him a name? Kawa. Kawa? Like river? That's cool. Rosanna's. Oh, oh, there goes your frog. It's fast, Anna. Where'd it go? Oh, look at that! Oh, 
That's so cute. Oh, found it, Anna. Anna's frog. There it is. We found it. <laughs> oh. 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 Becca even brought her own personalized flower to life. Flowers this time, huh? Some petals? Nice. Yeah, mine is everywhere. Team Labs Borderless was a great experience that took us several hours to go through. If you want to experience it for yourself, you better hurry as it is closing for good at the end of this summer. Thanks for watching and subscribing to Life in Japan. See you next time. Oh, we're done. We're out. Wow.